Many summers ago, Julia Ruth accompanied her father, the great Babe Ruth, to a golf tournament in Conway. And it's there where she met her first husband, Richard Flanders, owner of the Cranmore Mountain Lodge. The two ran the bed and breakfast for several years, and it's still in operation today. They married in 1940, and then he passed away in 1949. So, and uh, she sold the inn in 1950. Freddie Prosik is the current innkeeper and says Julia left her mark on the lodge. She changed a few things with her husband. Uh, she added uh, the fireplace uh, that is in the living room and she added also an addition uh, to, the live, to the dining room. Room number eight is where Julia lived with her husband when they ran this inn, but just down the hall is the Babe Ruth room, the home away from home for her famous father. Well, this is where Babe Ruth used to stay, and we have the original bed and a dresser uh, where he used to, to be here. You'll also find original furniture from the Babe's New York City apartment. The walls of the inn are donned with memorabilia and Ruth family photos highlighting their time spent here. She would come back and visit often the inn and see what, what was changed. Julia also owned this general store in Eaton Center, where she met her second husband. According to a family obituary, that marriage didn't last too long. But Julia eventually met her third and final husband of 49 years, Brent Stevens, a poultry farmer. They say for many years she was known throughout the Mount Washington Valley as the Egg Lady, a member of baseball royalty living a quiet life in the mountains of New Hampshire. In Conway, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.